for the sign of Gemini, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I will have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person, Knight of Wands, and it's with the Five of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Wands, it's showing it's a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. It's about feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing, which would help reach towards any goals that you have. Now the Knight of Wands, they're often message bearers. And the messages, they're likely to be positive. Now it's with this Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles can actually point to a time when life is feeling less than secure. But the important thing to remember is that there is always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. So you could start to feel alone. But you have the capacity to change that. Reach out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold, as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Just realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, go out and ask for it. The help you need will come. So, Gemini, I'm picking up for you and your person the recent past energy. The Knight of Wands clarified by this Five of Pentacles. So, the Five of Pentacles is not a happy indicator when it comes to love questions. You could have your eye on someone that you, f you feel is not treating you the way that they should. Yeah, so you might need to stop fantasizing about this person entirely. Yeah, because this card is about feeling left out in the cold. Yeah. But you have to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul, have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. Yeah, because when love is right, you will not have to do backflips just to make it work. So, yeah, the Five of Pentacles, it says that you might just need to broaden your horizons and try really hard to think positive. Yeah, because it's with this Knight of Wands, I'm getting a couple of storylines because your person makes you feel bad maybe they do things or say things like I said it's not a happy indicator when it comes to love questions you feel left out by this person because the knight of wands is here you could decide to just well, at the moment, you've only got one foot in and one foot out. As a Knight of Wands is like that. You're just kind of like in it, but you're on your way out. Yeah, or you could be trying to get out of this, this situation. Now, the other storyline I'm getting is that um, you could be dealing with someone that's very charming. They're fearless, they're brave, like this Knight of Wands. This person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really confident type. They got a lot of um, in and out type of energy. And this Knight of Wands can be known as a player. So you could be dealing with a player. And this doesn't make you feel great at all. Like I said, a lot of times you feel left out in the cold. And they just don't treat you like... You, you know they should. So, 
That's the recent past energy. Now we move on over and we take a look and see what's coming up for you and your person. Six of Wands. And it's paired with the Hermit. Now the Six of Wands, it actually, it actually signals victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate some type of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or you could be receiving a reward for, for good work that you've done. The Six of Wands, it can actually make you feel really good about yourself. You could feel as if you've got a lot of support from maybe a whole lot of people around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, and I say this because if you look at the picture of the Six of Wands... You see this lady, she's standing on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air from side to side. And she's got all of these people below her. They're mimicking her. They're doing exactly what she is. So, yeah, with the Six of Wands, it's victory, success, recognition. Now, it's with the Hermit card, which can be a spiritual card. It could have something in to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It, it's kind of like the strength card. You could be in the frame of mind that you need or want some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This card can be about, also, it can also be about trying really hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So coming up for you and your person, Jim and I, we got the Six of Wands and it's clarified by this hermit. Yeah, so like I said, your person is, you feel they're not treating you right. Like I said, maybe you only got one foot in and you're almost out. You're almost out the door. Coming up, there could be someone that you have in mind. Or someone have someone could be have someone could have you in mind. Someone could be thinking about you. This person, they'll want to have success with you. Victory and success. They want your attention. Yeah, you might know somebody already that's been trying to get your attention. You might be thinking about this person too. Yeah, because Six of Wands, like I said, it's about mirroring each other. And you may not even know they're thinking about you and you're thinking about them. So, they could be calling you. At the same time, you're thinking about them. Don't be surprised. Yeah, so you go into hermit mode to clear your mind and think what your next move is going to be. Because this person, you know, they don't treat you right. The person from the recent past energy, they're not treating you right. So you take some time alone to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage. And you're trying to decide where you're going from here. Like I said, there's somebody on your mind. Or someone has you on their mind. That um, you two are mirroring each other. Like I said, and you probably don't even know it. They're thinking about you and you could be thinking about them. They want success with you, whoever this is. It could be could be someone that you met for a lot of you it's someone that you already know yeah so we move on over and we take a look at the challenge we got the three of swords and it's with the ten of pentacles now the three of swords there's an element of sorrow that's undeniable when you get this card but what's on the other side it can be enhanced understanding joy so allow yourself to fully experience any pain that comes up this way you'll be able to move past it 
yeah, this card, it can point to possibly a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. Yeah, so, but make sure you don't wallow in it because you do not and should not wallow in sadness for long periods of time. And I say this because some people who do just stay stuck in sadness, they, or, or they, they, they're in uh, grief for long periods of time. Uh, sometimes they get stuck there and they wake up every morning thinking this is the new normal. So, yeah. Don't wallow in grief or sadness for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others, they will not be able to decide this for you. Now, Three of Swords is with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, it says that you're, you're going to have a lot of things to be grateful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health. All these things should be going really well. So you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have. Even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we get back what we give out. So your challenge, Gemini Three of Swords, clarified by this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, um... You could have someone else on your mind. And you've only got one foot in with this person that's not treating you right. And you're maybe trying to figure out how to get out. Your other foot is on its way out the door. Somebody else that you maybe have great chemistry with. They're thinking about you. They want victory and success with you. So with this Three of Swords coming up here for your challenge... Um, you might, you and this person who makes you feel left out in the cold, the two of you or you might start shutting this person out, or it could be both of you. Um, with the two, with the three of swords, you get rejection, you get relationship difficulty. There could be a lot of closing each other off. Or you might start to close off from this person that's treating you bad. Three of Swords can be about severing ties. Distancing yourself from this person that's not treating you right. And that's what it's showing that you, you could be facing as a challenge. With this person that we talked about with the recent past energy. Yeah, so you realize that you, you you want your Ten of Pentacles. And there's, like I said, there's somebody on your mind. And they've got you on their mind. And you realize that you could have, you really could have it all. You don't really have to be going through this with this Knight of Wands. Yeah. The Ten of Pentacles can also be about second chances, so whoever the Six of Wands is, like I said, for a lot of you, it's someone that you know. Maybe they want a second chance. For some of you, it's someone that you just met. But it's showing that you could actually have it all. Ten of Pentacles, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. You could have it all. But right now you're going through some relationship difficulties. And you, you, you two are shutting each other off. You're closing yourself off to this. To this knight of wands. And you're severing ties. Or you're trying to figure out how to sever ties from this knight of wands. So. We move on over and take a look at the outcome. We got the will of fortune. And it's with the tower. Now the Wheel of Fortune, it's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. 
Because like that too, everything changes. Live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. Yeah, so we have this Wheel of Fortune with the Tower. Well, with the Tower card, it can be about trying to hold too, too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people, situations that you had counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic. Because we all know that change, it's the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And this is only going to be a problem if you let it be. Because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Just know that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality. So the outcome, Gemini, will of fortune clarified by this tower. So yeah, who, whoever this person is that's not treating you right. Like I said, they could be a player. And that, that type of energy is just not working for you. And they don't treat you right. They make you feel left out in the cold. Yeah, there's somebody else. Somebody else is coming for you. The Six of Wands here. Somebody that you got great chemistry with. Or you will have great chemistry with. The two of you will mirror each other. And it's saying you could have it all. With this person or just a new life. Or maybe you'll decide to focus on your money and be all about the Benjamins because the Ten of Pentacles, it actually indicates a lot of money. It can indicate a lot of money. So you go into hermit mode, try to figure out which direction to go, clear your mind, get rid of some baggage. You and your person, this Knight of Wands, you're shutting each other out at this point. There's rejection, there's heartbreak. So, it looks like, uh, with the tower card here, it looks like it, it's not holding up. It just collapses and it falls apart. Yeah, but the good thing about the tower, the tower card is that you're enlightened by this disaster. Yeah, you no longer see things or the connection through, through rose-tinted glasses. You get the full picture. You know where you're going from here. Your eyes are fully open. So you're enlightened by this disaster. And the good thing about, about it is that it's with the will of fortune. Fortune is in your favor after this tower moment. It may not feel like it, but it is. You don't want to miss out on this Wheel of Fortune. Because it's a, it's a good cycle right now for you. Really good one. The will has turned in your favor. So luck is on your side. After this tower moment, take advantage of it if you can. Some people will get stuck in heartbreak and sadness, disappointment. Some people get stuck in tower moments and don't realize that the world is actually theirs. And you got the Ten of Pentacles here. You got the Six of Wands. So you could have a you could actually have it all. But you have to realize um, or you have to try not to be stuck. Because some people, like I said, some people get stuck with the tower there. 
They can't get up off the ground. But keep in mind, fortune, fortune is in your favor. So, Gemini, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope it resonates. I hope you enjoy the reading. Just remember that um, these readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. I hope all of you are staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care of yourself. Please come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Yeah, also keep in mind, the roles can be switched when you get these readings. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not involved with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Taurus, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Also, thanks for all my new subscribers. You guys have really been coming in pretty good, pretty heavy for me, so I really appreciate it. And my old subscribers, thank you so much. It helps my channel to grow. So, Gemini, I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.